What is going on, everybody? How you doing this morning? Good morning, everyone. How you all doing? You know the drill for me. Fresh off work. Ready to get into this five-game slate. Hopefully, I can make it fast as possible. Don't want to hold you guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys had a nice night last night. Uh, I cashed on both sites. Uh, hit my cash games. That's most important to me. Except for on DraftKings, I hit my cash games, but my but I didn't hit the tournament. So that's neither here that it was a low dollar tournament. I just want to hit my cash games. Um, men cash in tournaments on FanDuel and uh, hit my cash games. Um, I did post a lineup. Uh, my one lineup that I use on East Site, I, I I tweeted it out. Something I do every now and then. So if you want to check it out, it's 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 over there on Twitter. My link will be in the description. Um so uh yeah, I had to really make that line up fast. I was tired, man, and I was running out of time and I remember I hadn't set my line up and um man, nice performances yesterday from some players. I didn't even think to to, to uh, fade Curry in that matchup, man. I I could have had anybody except except for Curry, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get into today's slate. Like uh, like always, like subscribe, hit the notification bell if you um if you um if you like um, if you so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Yep. Um, another thing I want to, uh, every once in a while, I give you guys a tour of the group, my Facebook group. We do a lot of, we do DFS and we do a lot of sports betting over there, uh, on different various sites and they just been killing it, man. I, I rarely have time, but they've been killing, they always kill it. You know, on the weekends, I really get taxed. So like I said, I work on overnight. So here, I just can give you a little flash of what's been going on. Like they always kill it though. When you first hit the group, you'll see my uh, my video pinned, and then uh, you, you know, uh, Stock John John Stockman says he he thinking about locking this in. Uh, this looks like a same game. No, it's not. A, is it? It might be. I, don't, I ain't gonna click on it. Just give you guys a quick tour. You know, he said he needs some help. He been in a slump. Um, Jermaine, he had wood that got voided out. He hit though, seventy-one bucks off ten bucks. Posted their bets, and you know, just you know, people just been getting it in. You see, uh, Daryl Porter. I guess he must have hit that. Big ups to him. Hit his parlay. Bet a hundred dollars. He won thirteen fifty. Yeah. DraftKings Sportsbook. People just getting it in. Hitting. Twenty five dollars paid for fifty. Very nice. You know. Shout out to these guys, man. They're killing it. James, Kobe, Bean, Bryant always come in, show his hitters. You know, these guys, these men and these women, you know, they they killing it, man. Look at that. 10 bucks, 274, same game parlay. He laid it down. Look at her. Alex Burks. She says she... She hit. She she bet two bucks on that. Got her back two eighty nine on the same game parlay from that uh from that Boston Celtics game. You know, and the list goes on and on. Gene Crossing, he he actually hit this. Yes, he did. He hit that for sure. Nice. Same game parlay, eleven selections, dropped a thirty piece on it and hit. Thirty bucks got him almost three thousand. Around twenty seven hundred. So you know, April, killing it. She just 
smacked him for 250 right there, 100. She just was popping him, you know. So that's that's enough for that. Uh, every time I come, every, every every time I scroll, just somebody's killing him. Chalmers Tyler, it's just just killing it, bro. So let's get into let's get into some DFS. I just want to show you guys, uh, you know what what what's going on in my community. Love it there. We got Philly and Brooklyn, Cleveland and Memphis. Dallas and Denver, uh, San Antonio, L.A. Lakers, and Minnesota and Portland. Usual suspects still injured, whatever you want to say. Uh, Fork Mati will be out of this game. And uh, Mike Scott's rocking that Q tag, so he, he might be in play or he might be active. Um, You know from these guys, uh, what you see is what you get. Oh, Cruz, he got that Q tag. He might be on his way back. But like I said, what you see is what you get from these guys, man. This should be a juicy game. Hopefully it be hopefully it's not a blowout. So, you know, this will be a good game to watch. Unfortunately I'll be at work, but this will be a good good game to watch. You know your usual suspects are in play. Uh Ben Simmons, uh Tobias Harris, Danny Green, Seth Curry, um, Joel and B. This is a back to back for the for the uh, Sixers, so you know there might be some some uh, some rest candidates. Uh, you'll get Ben Simmons coming in at uh, eighty nine hundred, and I think he's what is he uh, eighty seven hundred on Fanduel. So uh, he's not nine k. Somebody who can triple double. Uh, he's not nine k on either side to pivot off of Kyrie Irving or uh, Joel Embiid. Uh, I don't mind the play. Um, of course, Joel Embiid, he just smashed last game. Probably put up close to 70 last game. Uh, uh, it's got a decent matchup. Um, not too much. I'm not afraid to uh, go. Uh, um, I'm not afraid to play him against uh, DeAndre Jordan or, uh, or Jared Allen. It's just, you know, uh Picking Jared Allen or, or, or DeAndre Jordan against him is a tough matchup, man. They can get into foul trouble. So, you know, Joel Embiid at 9500 is definitely, he's under 10 k That's definitely a great price. Uh, Tobias Harris at 7500 on DraftKings on FanDuel. How much is Tobias Harris? He is 7900 So, I, if you was to go there, I'd go there on DraftKings. I like to play Seth Curry. Had a great game last game. He shot the ball well. Um, so he's somebody who's been playing really well. He he does score. His peripherals ain't where I really want him to be, but uh, Ben 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 Simmons does all the ball handling over there. So you know he has to come in and shoot. So you know he hits. He went six for seven against Washington last game, but he's hitting at least two or three threes a game. So for all my people who like to prop bet and stuff like that, you know. Uh, He's hitting two or three threes a game, so you know he has upside. He can hit six or seven, but I don't mind the play. Uh, and on the on the um, on the Brooklyn side of things, uh, it's 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 just hard for me to tell how this game going to go. They just they just beat the shit out of uh, Utah, and um, that was I, I was unis that was unexpected. Jared Allen came in and just went bonkers. DeAndre Jordan got into foul trouble, so he's somebody who who probably won't be in play for me. He's never really in play for me. I haven't picked Jared Allen either because of the time split. But if Jared Allen can find a way to to uh, well, he's been proving himself. So if he can find a way to snag that spot, he's sixty four hundred on draft on DraftKings, and you'll get Jared Allen for uh, sixty three hundred. But Keep in mind, it is a tough matchup. So, uh, ain't no telling what the startup lineup going to start lineup be going to be. We're going to have to see. Um, I like Karis LeBert in this one. Uh, he might be a little cheaper on FanDuel. He's 68 on DraftKings. Uh, he's 6,500 on FanDuel. Um, the Sixers have been playing really well this year. I think they have, like, the best record in the league. They do have a tendency to play up to their conference competition. 
I would love for this game to be uh, stay close. This is a game uh, that can produce some great fantasy um, numbers, and you could you could you know you could find ways to stack this game up. But like I said, I think I like Karis Levert a lot today for some reason. Uh, last game they were just blowing Utah, but this game I could see him being more useful this game. Uh, so uh, he's one of my favorite plays. And like I said, Ben Simmons, Kyrie Irving, you know, they enjoy him and be there and play. But I think, you know, outside of the usual suspects, I think Karis LeVert can have himself a game today. Being aggressive. He played, he didn't play 30 minutes last game. So uh, I would imagine he could, you know, he had he played 21 minutes. He had 36 fantasy points. He has the peripherals, you know. Uh, but I would imagine that he would, you know, like it's like, look, 21 minutes, he still took 18 shots. So he's coming in trying to get his. I would, Like I say, I would imagine that uh, he would be a little bit more aggressive. He might be need He might be needed in this game a little earlier and often. So uh, I really like him uh, on this slate. Moving over to the Cl uh, Cleveland and Memphis game. Uh, hella injuries over here. On the, um, hella injuries over here on the Cleveland side of things. Dante Axel, Wedler, and all. Just too many injuries. So we had... Uh, a lot of guards out. We had uh, Okoro come back yesterday. Uh, he played, um, I think he played 26 minutes. Uh, didn't do nothing with him. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm somebody who likes to uh, play a lot of value plays. You know, I like to stop him in there and uh, that helped me allow, that helped allow me to get to some studs. Um, uh, so how many minutes did he play? The rookie played 28 minutes yesterday. He, he had 10 points, but you know, it just, there was nothing else there. You know, no rebounds, no nothing like that. Only took five, uh, five attempts. He don't shoot that much, but, uh, coming in at 4k, you know, for a cheaper option, I could probably find better options there. Uh, Drummond and Joel Embiid, <clears throat> I mean, not Joel Embiid, uh, JaVel McGee. These two, uh, JaVel McGee has been eating into Drummond's minutes. He played 26 minutes, had 42 uh, fantasy points. You really want, I'm really getting scared for Andre Drummond. You really want him to have his full allotment of minutes. If you were to play him, you'll get him. Uh, almost a thousand cheaper on DraftKings. He's he's he's, he's ninety two hundred on FanDuel. I don't know, you know, with this, I don't know if I'll be able to get to him, man. He's priced nicely on Dra Dra DraftKings, but I don't know if I'll be able to get to him. Um, Colin Sexton, he's just, you know, he's just really taking a lot of shots this year. I don't blame him. I like it. His price went down on FanDuel. I had him in my lineup last night. He didn't disappoint me. He put up uh, 36 fantasy points. Uh, so he did hit value at 7,500. I think that was his price. But he went, no, he was 7,200. He went down 300, so he doesn't even have to get 3,500 to hit value. The shots are there. Uh, a few more uh, peripherals and things like that. You know, he could get close to 50, you know, with a, with a nice, with a nice, uh, with a nice night from the field, but I don't mind the play. Uh, I like him on FanDuel a little bit better at the cheaper price. And then, uh, Larry Nance Jr. He's, he's just been priced up. He's just a no for me. Um, at, you know, at some point you just, you just have to, uh, he's a power forward on FanDuel. You just have to say to some people, some of these players, you got to say, man, you just I just can't fuck with them. 
He's almost 7K. Of course, he can he can he can, he can show some upside on that price tag, but I just can't. I just can't, man. I just can't. Had this been last year, I don't know, but this year I just can't. Um, and then for value on the Cleveland side, you know, Chetty Osman, he's been balling uh, in the absence with all these injuries. Um, he had four points last game, five rebounds, seven assists, three steals, one for 12. Uh, he had a bad shooting night. He probably could have got uh, close to 40 fantasy points. He's still in play. Price better on FanDuel at 5K. Um, Damian Dawson is probably a no for me. And then uh, um, that'll probably be it for me as far as the value. But uh, guys like uh, Okoro and uh, Chetty Osman, they have to get out there and play. They have to get out there and play. So, uh, you know, you can, you know, men, minutes equal opportunity. You have a bad shooting night, one for 12, but you, you're you out there. You can still f stumble into some peripherals. So uh, um, I don't mind the play. And on the, um, on, 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 the, uh, on the Memphis side of things, uh, Joe Val, Jonas, Jonas Val, Valanciunas, he's priced very well, man. 7,200 on DraftKings, and he's under 7K on FanDuel at 6,500. That's where I love to play him at. Uh, the center's position is loaded. You got Jokic. Um, uh, MB Drummond, and then you know up under him you have Allen and Nurkic. Uh, it's a nice price centers over here. You just want to make sure you nail down the right the right center because <clears throat> on Fanduel you only get one. On DraftKings you can play two. Um, and then you got Kyle Anderson and Dylan Brooks. Uh, I like the matchup against Cleveland. You know these guys are probably looking to be aggressive. Uh, I don't mind either one of them. Um, Tyus Jones, he's somebody who's getting minutes in the midst of all these injuries. Um, right around 25, 26, 27 fantasy points, uh, four out of the last five games. I don't mind it, but at 5,600, I can go back and find some cheap value, maybe a 3 or 4K guy to, to fill that void. Brandon Clark, he's in play. Um, Gorgie Jean, he's been getting minutes the whole damn season. Uh, he's very efficient with his. He just smashes, man. And, you know, at 4,100, you'll probably get him at about 4,200 on FanDuel. I believe he's 4,200, 4,600. You know, he's just a, you know, he brings his hard hat and his lunch pail every single game. He rarely takes 10 shots. Uh, you know, he just does it all with his peripherals and the few, <clears throat> and he's very efficient with his with his shots. Um, and that's all I'll probably get to. Uh, Melton was active the game before this two game, the last two. That was last game was his first game being active. He played 16 minutes with uh, um, um, 18 and a half fantasy points. Had he not been injured, he'd be, he'd be a big part of what uh, was going on in the midst of these injuries. Uh, he, you should be his minutes should be climbing. Uh, the next game, he played okay. You know, for you know he had five assists in sixteen minutes. That's nice. You know what I'm saying? They only lost by two. Um, they played a tough game, man. So you look for his minutes to be climbing up. DeAnthony Melton, he's at 3,300 right now. Uh, moving over to the Dallas and Denver game. Uh, you know, you got Trey Burke is out. So, uh, um, that's it for the injuries on that side. And uh, if I'm, oh, uh, Michael Porter Jr. don't have a, uh, he don't have a, a Q tag, so he should be ready to go. That's good news there. Um, starting off on the Dallas side of things, you already know. Uh, the Joker, you know, don't play no games. But his price is getting up there. He's 10-9 on DraftKings, and he's 11-3 on FanDuel. Um, he's been crushing it, though. 
He's got a 70, a 53, uh, uh, 49, 60, uh, 72. So he's he's crushing that that 11K price tag, you know, all the time. So it's just a matter if you want to play him or not. Uh, he's definitely a player. You don't have to go no further with him. Uh, Jamal Murray, he shitted on me last game. He just fucked my shit up. 32, 32, <clears throat> 32 minutes. He shot seven times. 13 points. 18 fantasy points. Man, he just, man, 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 man. But it's a new day. Um, going up against Dallas. I probably won't. I, on this late, hell no, I won't be able to get to him. I ain't even going to lie because you got Kyrie and other guys like that. On this late, I won't be able to get to him. It'll probably be Joker or nothing, truthfully. Uh, Michael Porter priced at 7100 on fan on DraftKings on FanDuel. He's priced at 6700 I don't know if I'll get there, but we know he does have upside on his price tag. But, you know, he's got his last game. He put up a 51 against Sacramento. Uh, he has a 43 in the bag, but, you know, uh, he has shown his floor at some time. Uh, Bill, I mean, I was going to say Bill Warden. Will Barton is a no for me. Um, not with um, Porter back. Um, Jermichael Green, he's been, he's been playing some good ball, man. Uh, his last two games, you know, he played only played 20 minutes, his 12 minutes his first game, but ever since then, you know, 27 minutes, uh, 20 minutes, um, shit, that's over a fancy point for a minute, man. So he's been, you know, he can shoot the three. He can stretch the floor, you know, so uh, he's definitely in play. He does a little bit, little bit of everything, man. And then on the Denver side, those are the only two, those are the only – uh, guys, I can get to you know, so that 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 that, that you know that'll be it. Uh, it's just probably for me. It's probably Jokic, and maybe if I need some value, I wish I wish he was a little bit cheaper. What's your what, what's what's your Michael Green price tag on Fanduel? Forty two hundred. So uh, he's priced similarly. Uh, on the Dallas side of things, uh, Luca, boom, he just had a big game. He dropped the seventy bomb. On uh on Houston, you get them at ten five on Fanduel on DraftKings on Fanduel eleven one. Uh, I wouldn't even mind if you played him and Luke uh and and and, and Jokic, you know. Uh, but you do, we do got some studs on the slate that's cheaper than these two guys, you know. Uh, that you could probably take the under on and uh. And and, 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 and and make a little bit better roster and save some salary on these guys. Then you got Tim Hardaway Jr. He's going to be out there. He shoots a lot. Uh, Richardson priced at 5K on DraftKings and 4800 on FanDuel. Uh, Monte Morris gets his minutes. He does get his minutes. He just fly, flies under the radar. Uh, for some reason, he didn't have a pretty – he didn't have a decent fantasy output last game, but he's 4,700 on DraftKings. Uh, before that, he had a 24, 17, 30, 37, uh, 27. The shots are there for him. Not these last two games, but they have been there. Um, you know, that's just a – it'd just be a low on pivot or any, something like that. But, you know, at 4,700, I won't be able to get there. He probably priced similar on – on FanDuel, yeah, at 4,500. And then, you know, you got DFS, D Dorian Finney-Smith, uh, 4,400, probably a no for me. He gets a lot of minutes. Gary Harris out there standing out there doing shit at all. Maxi Cleaver and Dwight Powell. Um, Carly Steen got the start last game. He had a decent game at 3,700. I don't mind him on on DraftKings. I can't get to him on FanDuel. Can't, can't waste a center spot. But he started, got 24 minutes, 30, 30, 30 fancy points. Uh, if we get, if he gets to start again, then, you know, uh, that's a nice little price at 3,700, man. If he gets you 22, 23, 24 fancy points, that's pretty cool for me. Um, and that's about it, man, you know. Let's move on over to the Lakers in San Antonio. Uh, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, they keep the Q tag. They rolling with the Qs. 
Uh, Derek White is just out right now. Uh, uh, I believe Caldwell Pope is uh, probable. And uh, that's it for the relevant guys. On the Lakers side, you know, it is what you know. What you see is what you get. You get uh, LeBron James. He's somebody who has been playing well against uh, San Antonio as of late. You know, I'm the, he, he, he's been burning them. Uh, and when he does play, you know, he, he, he's he been he's been consistent this week, under the uh, low key, under the radar. Uh, he's been, you know, hidden value. He's exceeded it uh, once or twice. But, you know, he's been he's been balling. He's still priced at you know, he's priced at 10 K and same similarly priced on on DraftKings. He's probably going to be lower owned than the rest of these guys, too. So uh, that's somebody that's something to take a uh, take into consideration. Anthony Davis, uh, he's priced nicely, 9800 uh, 10 10-4 on FanDuel. I like the price on DraftKings a little bit better, but uh, you have to roster the two, two, uh, two power forwards on FanDuel, so uh, I don't mind the play. Um, San Antonio plays a little bit faster. Interesting right here is Dennis Schroeder. Um, he he's he's I've been saying it, man. He's he's due, man. And 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 and, and if you want to catch him, you want to catch him right on over here on Fanduel. He's at fifty three hundred on Fanduel, man. He's due, man. He, he he's due. He can give you. Crowd is kept, man. He can give you. He can give you a fifty piece, man. Three steals, a block, uh, six assists. 20 some points, you know, just a just an active night. A good night can stumble into 40, 45, 50 fantasy points for this guy. The minutes are there, 36, 31, 32, 33, 36. LeBron James having to having to um having to miss a game. Fire him up. Remember that. But he's in play right now at that price, especially on DraftKings. I mean on FanDuel at 5,300. I like to play. Um, Cal Kuzma, no. Um, if LeBron is out, then he looks a little better, but no. And that's about the only thing I can get, I can even fathom over here. Caruso should be, this part, he's, he's back. He doesn't carry the Q tag and nothing like that. So he's back. That's something to keep in, keep in mind. And, uh, on, on the, um, on the, uh, on, on San Antonio side of things, you know, the usual suspects, DeMar DeRozan, Jante Murray, Keldon Johnson, uh, Marcus Aldridge, and uh, Rudy Gay. Those are the main suspects right there. <sighs> Dejounte Murray, I'm just you know, 38 fantasy points, uh, 49 and 42 and 45. And like I said, this is what I like from him. I like the nine for 18, the 18 shots. I need I, I need him to be aggressive. I wish he'd be aggressive like this every night. He needs about he needs he needs up he needs about 16, 17 shots, if you ask me. You know. It's hard for me to get on. I haven't picked them all year. Sixty nine hundred on DraftKings. On FanDuel, you get them at um seventy two hundred. So you have to really, really, really think if you want to roster him. Keldon Johnson, the boy's a baller. He's he's a baller. Um prices that's sixty five hundred though. You know, you want some more upside on that price tag. It's iffy for me. Uh Marcus Aldridge. <clears throat> he came back last game, played twenty five minutes, twenty seven fantasy points, man. Uh sixteen shots. I'd like to see a better efficient game from him. Especially going up against these Lakers. You'll get him at uh sixty two hundred on FanDuel too. It's, man, that that's, I mean, hey, he's shooting more threes this year. I mean, damn. <clears throat> I'd have to look to him. I'd have to look to him. You know, I'd have to look to him. Uh, I definitely would, you know. Uh, damn, he's 6,200. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking about that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like, I have to get to him. And, uh, Patty Mills, uh, I touched on Patty Mills last game. I didn't play him, but last slate I touched on him. Uh, I knew something told me he was going 
he was going he was going to go out there and twerk. He went out there and hit 8 for 12 for threes, man. He was that's all he hit was threes. Uh he was 8 for 16 for the field and all eight of those were uh threes. He is real efficient from the three-point line, man. He can shoot. He's a savvy veteran. Don't ever think he lost it. Uh, in the in in the absence of of White, uh, look for him. Uh, definitely, uh, he he might be a, a decent play tonight. Um, he, he had his most. He, well, not his most, but you know, they played the Lakers twice already. He had twenty and twenty six fancy points. He's at forty three hundred though, so he's got to do something. When you hit that four K through. Threshold, you got to do something. On FanDuel, what would you get him at? 4300 So he's priced the same. I didn't really look at that price. Yeah, you got to produce at that price. So uh, that's about it, what I got from this game. Uh, Wesley Matthews, he gets the minutes. Nobody really notices it, though. He does get the minutes. 30, 27, 25, 22. He just don't do shit with him, man. He don't do shit with him. He had a 22 and a 23 a few games ago, but, you know, hey, a, a, a plug or play on DraftKings, uh, you're probably going to get him at the about 3,700 on FanDuel. I mean, if you if you want to squeeze some people in, you know what I'm saying, with the defensive stats that he probably can provide for you, you might want to – I can't even find his ass, first of all, but you might want to uh, consider him on – he must be at the two. FanDuel, they sh- FanDuel shuffles people around a lot. I'm sure I hate when I fucking got to type somebody's name in, man. Shit, man. He's at the three. I know y'all probably seen him. It's like, yep, you just went, you blind as hell. You just went right past him. 3,600, he would be zero owned. Only people who probably wanted to even take a stab at him is y'all who listening. He did give, uh, he did put up a fa- uh, 20 points uh, against, against, um, against, against San Antonio. So he's a really, really, really cheap play, man. A really cheap play. Somebody that's out there soaking up minutes, man. So, uh, yeah, and that's about it, man. You got your Montrezl Hazel, Harold, Montrezl Harold over here. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't, I haven't been on him since the start of the season, man. He hasn't flashed that upside. We get injuries, then I can consider him. Last game on the slate: Minnesota and Portland. Uh, injuries over here. Still the usual, usual suspect, a Koji. Uh, a couple guys came back, and then it looks like uh, outside of Collins um, and Rodney Hood, everybody's healthy on the Portland side. Um, D'Angelo Russell uh, came back around. Like Lil Wayne. Came back around, yeah. So, look, <clears throat> he's definitely in play. This is what you need. 20 shots. For sure. Every night from him. 20 shots. Last two games was all a okay. For fantasy. Uh, but yeah, 20 shots. And if he can start dishing out some dimes, which he definitely could do in this game right here, he can he can give you another at 7700, he can give you another 40 fantasy points, 45 point out. 78 on FanDuel. It's, it, they couldn't wait to shoot that price up, though, but he's in play. Uh, Malik, Malik, Malik Beasley. He's been busting ass. It's 28, 48, 25, 25, you know, 34, 27. Um, taking about 15, 16 shots a game. Shooting about five, six, seven, eight threes. He, he went zero for six with three last game. He could have had a better output. He's in play. Uh, cheaper option. What would you get uh, Beasley at on FanDuel? Let's see. 5600 Keep that in mind. Um, and then you got 
<clears throat> Nas Reed, he's just a he's a, he's a hack. First of all, he's a, and, and second of all, he's a no for me. Uh, definitely in G, G, GPP play, he's flashed some upside before, but man, going up against Nurkic and uh, Cantor, it's just probably a no for me. The the other boy, the young the young boy uh, uh, Vanderbilt. He's he he he's looking to carve him out a role. If you look here, the first game in the season, he's been. He, if you check this from the beginning of the season, he is very efficient with his. 15 minutes, 27 fantasy points. 16 minutes, 22. 12 minutes, 13. He did. He played one minute, the uh, the game before last, and then against Denver, he came in and played 23 minutes and uh, had, had had 30 fantasy points. So you can see how efficient he is and, you know, how quick he can put up fancy points. Like over a fancy point per minute, well over. We'll get the news he's starting, man. Just plug his ass. That's a, one of the great – he got a good price tag at 3800 on DraftKings and on FanDuel. What's his price tag on FanDuel? Uh, oh, you know what? He's at the small four spot. And – Vanderbilt is forty five hundred. They they Fanduel been watching. They've been watching little motherfuckers. But yeah, um, Culver he's a no. And uh, if you're a seasoned vet, you've been playing this for a long time. You know what Wancho can do. I played him uh, last last game. He really he really he really he really went crazy last game. He can do a little bit of everything, man. A little bit of everything. Price went up a thousand. He was at thirty four hundred. He's forty four hundred on DraftKings on FanDuel. He is uh, forty two hundred and definitely in play. I love to play. I used to love playing uh, playing him when he was with the Nuggets. Man, man, that was awesome. That was awesome. Um, and then outside of those guys, everybody else is you know on the Minnesota side is. Not in play for me. Poor Anthony Edwards, the number one pick. He's just been, you know, he hasn't even gotten 30 minutes. Damn, get a boy 30 minutes one time. He ain't even got 30 minutes all year long, man. I can't even fuck with him, man. And uh, Portland, you know, usual suspects. Lillard, McCollum, Nurkic, uh, Cantor, and... Uh, Carmelo Anthony, he's a. His minutes are there, you know, forty three hundred, a cheaper option, you know, he can get you a thirty in this spot, you know what I'm saying? Sneaky, get you a sneaky thirty in this spot, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna need more shots from him. It's cluttered over there between Carmelo Anthony, um, Derrick Jones Jr., who goes out there and plays all those damn minutes and. He don't really score no fancy points unless he's playing against an up-paced team or something. But now, nah, but you know, he 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 ain't made over three shots all damn year. You know, but he makes up for it in other categories like steals and stuff like that. So for that reason, it'd be best to probably play him on FanDuel. Where you'll get him at what price would you get him at? If you play Derrick Jones Jr. on FanDuel. I have to find them. See, at thirty nine hundred, uh, with those peripherals like steals and blocks, you get a little bit more uh, fantasy points for those. You know what I'm saying? So you know this this game right here, go to State, automatically turned to a thirty seven. So uh, you know you get three points for a steal and three points for a block. Plus he's cheaper. You get him two hundred cheaper. But I probably won't. I mean, I, I, hey, I probably would. I don't know. Depending on how my bills come out, you know, there's some cheaper options over here. Uh, Ed Davis, uh, 3600 I don't know, man. You know, size would be needed. That's one thing I do know. So, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. Interesting play. If, if I ever go to him, it's going to be on DraftKings. And like I said, that's about that's about that's about it, man. You know, you got McCollum. He's he's stepped up to the plate this year. He's under nine K still on DraftKings on Fanduel. He is at nine K. Uh, he's been balling. 20, 20 shots a game. 
he took 30 shots that day. He'd been on a mission. You know, he needs to get away from that team, man. But anyway, yeah, I like to play. And Lillard prices dropped 9,300 on DraftKings, 9,200 on FanDuel. We know what he can do. He can blow up. I don't mind the spot. I don't mind the play. You know, it is what it is. Uh, and that just about sums it up, man, on this side of the ball. I mean, uh, for this game, outside of Nurkic and, and, and Cantor. Uh, Nurkic is in a beautiful spot. He's priced nicely. Um, that's probably one of my favorite plays right here from this game. I don't want the Covingtons. I don't want him. Um, I want What I want is 32 minutes of Yusuf Nurkic. Uh, no holes barred. Price similarly on DraftKings, on FanDuel. What's his price? 6200 price the same. You know, he, he needs to get the, his mojo going. Uh, for real. And um, like I said, that's about it, man. I wish the best to you guys today. Oh, I didn't even touch on Ricky Rubio. He's 4500 on FanDuel, and he's 4800 Either way, Either way it go, either way it go, he ain't been doing shit. 21 point a minute, zero. Four rebounds, two assists. Like, bro, come on, man. You can do better than that. His ass is out of there. Straight up, man. You know, we know he got the good, he got, he got good, um, Upside, but I just can't. I can't fuck with him. I was high on him about three, and this, this Washington game right here, I was high on him. He ain't took no more than eight shots. I mean, his assist totals are down. He had six six assists one time this year. I just, he's, I just can't. And he's at the point now where I don't give a fuck what he does. And with that being said, man, I'm out, man. Like I said, if you like the video, like and subscribe, man. I gave you guys a tour of my group, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I was looking at some bets, you know. Uh, hopefully, I can get, get a bet video going out or whatever. Or if push comes to shove, today I'm definitely going to post some. I'm going to post some um, post some, some bets because I've seen some bets that I did like. So, uh, I'll be tweeting those out so you can uh, check those out there. And with that being said, I'm out, guys. Peace.